I think central banks are getting it wrong, in part because they've got the wrong models. They assume a frictionless economy where money zips around and also no one ever defaults. Alas, this just isn't the case. It's also why I think that quantitative easing is increasingly a spent force. Take, for example, the recent programme by the European Central Bank. They've offered to pay banks to lend money to the real economy, and yet Eurozone banks have taken on less than 5% of the 1.6 trillion of loans they've offered to pay. If low rates are problematic, negative rates probably are even worse. And I think the central banks underestimate the negative impacts on the banking system itself. Take, for instance, Switzerland. Um, the Swiss banks have actually put up their prices rather than put them down. So what do we need to do? We need to put financial frictions into these central bank models. That doesn't mean get going soft on the banks. In fact, I think we think the case for stress testing banks and having a resilient banking system is even stronger. But it means probably a greater focus on fiscal policy and on infrastructure spending and maybe having a second thought about the negative consequences of quantitative easing.